So right now, today we need to discuss about the day one topic. Clear? Yeah. And day in day one, we discuss lots of theory about the SD band, uh, about the traditional routing. Okay. Then we okay. discuss uh, some other topics. Okay. Right now, in day one, why we discuss the traditional routing? Because in traditional uh, routing or networking, we are getting some issues. For example, if if we want to learn about the traditional networking, if someone asking, if we are performing the traditional networking, so in traditional networking, how many times devices we are using devices? So basically, router, we are network. a router, mm, then switches. we are using switches, then we are using firewalls, Firewall. then access points, then we are using the load balancers, clear? Then we yeah. are using some, uh, you can say we are using some IP phones also, clear? So those devices we are using now, now, now. One more thing. In traditional routing, whenever we perform, so they, those devices are available, but we are getting the router is two types. We are getting router two types. One is my enterprise series and one is my data center series router. Clear? Switches so also yeah. same. We are getting some enterprise series switches and some is data center. But firewalls, firewalls only depends on your domain. Which do mean if you are having uh, if you are having receiving the two thousand users traffic, if you are receiving five thousand user traffic, if you want to do a packet filtering, data packet inspection, clear URL filtering, so you are using now 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 access point. Basically, access point we are getting a multiple types. For example, we are getting an enterprise. For example, we are getting some uh, data center series also clear access point. Now load balancer, why we use load balancer? Access point provide the wireless connectivities and load balancer to distribute your data traffic, clear? Distribution process. IP phones to make a voice call through the IP phones, clear? Now, if we are using those devices in traditional networking, so how design will be available? So we create small design for enterprise series, clear? We yeah. create an enterprise series now, basically, if we are using a router, so router can perform which task first? Routing. Then can perform which one task? You can configure policy. You can configure quality of service. Clear? You can configure which one? Policy based routing. You can configure some protocols. Clear? You can configure BGP, MPLS, and VPN scenario also. Now, if you are using the switches, so we can support switching protocols. Clear? Switching mm -hmm. protocols. Now, mostly we are using VLAN, uh, DTP, VTP, STP, inter VLAN routing. Clear? We can configure ACL task also, clear? Now, if we are using a firewalls, on firewalls, we are doing some filtering task, clear? We can configure some policy. We can do some URL inspection task. We can do deep packet inspection, clear? We can do uh, malware analyze, we can do, clear? Multiple things. Load balancer means distribute data. Clear? Mm -hmm. Inspection application you can do. Clear? Now. Okay. IP phones to do voice call. AP, AP means to provide 
wireless connectivity okay now so those devices we are using my enterprise network how to create enterprise network for example this one is box in this box we are getting complete devices okay now okay we are getting some routers this side this side okay now we are getting some firewalls this side this side. we are getting some we are getting some switches switches yeah we are getting a this side switch we are getting a this side switch this one switch this one this one and this clear now basically some access points we are using this side and this side clear and this mm -hmm. side we are getting some of LAN users Router one, this one is router two, this one is my firewall one, firewall two, this one is access point, and this one is my which switches, four switches, clear? Mm -hmm. Now, this one is my distribution layer switches, distribution switches, distribution switches. This one is some PC, some laptops, some physical servers. Okay, now mm -hmm. quite the connectivities. Now basically router one connected with this one, connected with this one, this one, and this one. Clear? Now firewall connected with this side, this side, and this core switch connected with both firewall. Clear? Now core switch connected with this one, this one, this side, this side, this one, and this one. This access point connected with my directly, which switches, core switches. Distribution switches providing this side, this one, this one, and this one. Design is clear? Yep. Visam, oh, your name is Visam or uh, which one? Yeah, that's right, Visam. Visam, okay. Because one of my students from Afghanistan also same name. What's name? Visam with M in the last. Yeah, Visam, same to same name. Uh -huh, that's good. Nice. Nice to hear that someone from Afghanistan, his name same. Yes, same to same name, Afghanistan. Visam. Okay, now, now. So this one is my small organization. Clear? You can verify. In, in This one is my organization. And now in this organization, we are getting a multiple devices. Now, now, now. If you implement, so basically first task you need to perform on uh, basically routers. Yes or no? On this devices, you are performing a routing task. Clear? You are enable yeah. some protocols. Clear? You need to configure some net feature. You need to configure some, uh, you can say, VPN. Clear? You need to configure some a policy also. Clear? Now, after this layer, you need to jump to which one side here? Firewall. Firewall. Okay, firewall or access point, you are configured together. Okay, no issue. This one, now. Okay. Basically on firewalls, you need to configure some filtering, filtering task. You need to configure some deep packet inspection. You need to configure some URL inspection. You need to configure some application filtering also. Now, after this thing, you need to jump to next, next layer, this one. This one is which one layer? A switches. This switching. side, you need to configure some switching task. You need to configure some VLAN. You need to configure some access port task. You need to configure some trunk ports. Yes or no? You need to configure some STP feature. You need to configure some inter VLAN routing. You need to configure some ether channel also. Mm -hmm. You need to configure some uh, security protection also. Now. Basically, after these things, you are getting complete organization. Clear? Now you're working domain. Okay. Now, in this case, in this case, if someone say this organization getting some branches, this organization getting some branches. Branch. Okay. This one is your branch. Branch number is one. In this branch, you are getting some router connected with switch. 
and this switch connected with some of users. Clear? Clear. This side. Now, one more branch available, this side. Without firewall, right? Yes, branch number two. Router, switches, and some of LEN users. So how to connect these branches? Basically, we are using some MPLS, server, uh, ISP, basically. And this ISP provides the internet connectivity for each branch. Now you are connecting with each branch. After this ISP, internally this ISP connected with multiple ISPs. Yes or no? Now, mm -hmm. this branch is active. But, but, but how to provide connectivity? Now network engineer performs some another task to connect head office to branches. How to connect? Basically, we are going to router one and we are going to router two. And both router will perform some tunneling task. Which one, dear? Tunnel task. We create tunnels to connect mm -hmm. my branches. You can say VPN, we can say BGP, we can say MPLS tasks we are performing. And then my branches is connected. Now, now, now. This branch user want to access, this branch user want to access this servers. Now, next task. You need to configure some router one, some another task for net, specific net you need to perform for branches. Yes or no? You need to mm -hmm. configure some policy for branches. Okay, now then traffic reach on firewalls. On firewalls, you need to configure allow, deny on filtering type. You need to do deep, deep packet inspection for branches, URL filtering, application verification on branches. Clear? Okay, now traffic reach on which one side? Port switches switch. and distribution switches. Okay, mm -hmm. now you need to configure some VLAN for every branch. Yes or no? Then you need to allow access port or trunk port configuration. Basically, access port we are not configured, only one type. But trunk port you need to allow this branch VLAN. You need to allow for STP, inter-VLAN routing, bundling task. Okay, then your traffic will be reached on serve. Now, if someone say, I want to change one switch, this one. If this core switch goes hardware failure, then you need to plug in new switch and you need to do again these things one more time. Yes or no? So in this yes. case, if you want to connect your branches, you need to do lots of things in traditional networking. Yes or no? Why? Basically, if you are using a networking device, for example, if you are using a router, if you are using your switch, if you are using firewall, clear? If you are using a load balancer, so each device, clear dear, each device maintain planes. Which plane dear? We are getting a first plane. Which one plane? Control plane. One more plane is available. Which one? Data plane. And one more plane is? management plane. So each device is separately maintained. Why separately maintained if someone asking? For example, uh, Visham, if you have any idea about the EIGRP OSPF BGP, you have any idea? Yes, yes, of course. Okay. Right now, basically, this one is your design to learning mm -hmm. why we use planes. Okay. For example, those router connected this type. Okay. Now, this one is your router one, this one is your router two, this one is your router three, this one is your router four. This side gig link, zero by zero, gig zero by one, gig zero by zero, clear? This side we are using F zero by zero, F zero by one, F zero by zero, F zero by one, or zero by zero, no worry. Now router one having some users, clear? And router four having some? servers now basically server network is x so this router one how to receive this x network we are using some we are using some routing protocols clear na? Mm -hmm. to receive x network on router one on router three on router two how to receive we are running some eigrp protocol we can run some ospf, OSPF. we can run some pgp also mm -hmm. 
now whenever we enable any protocol on any device so there was this device is first form together neighborship task which one task here neighborship if neighborship is done then devices will exchange update devices will exchange here update and this update will carry which information x network which network dear x network so router one say in my routing table x network is available but via mm -hmm. which one is best path via which one is best path this one is my 1 gb link mm -hmm. gig means 1 gb and this yeah, one is my 100 depends on the metric for each protocol so right now x network we can reach via R3. R3 is my best partner to reach 1 GB fastest. Mm -hmm. Clear? Now. Okay. Right now, this one is my best part. That is the reason install in my routing table. But, but, via R2 to R4, this one is my which path, for example, backup okay. path. But not available in my routing table. For example, after some times, after some times, this link goes down. Then what will be happen? R1 possible to reach R4 via R3? No. So R1 again, again, install, remove this route and again install this route via which one person? Via R2. But, 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 in between R4 or R2, in between R1 or R2, again update will process because we are break the neighborship. Now, if neighborship is down, then again we need to form so router one again calculate the path and then you are getting the backup path to reach X network. So in this case, in this case, first task, which one dear? First task, we just need to enable routing protocol, enable routing protocol, each devices, second mm -hmm. task, second task with some neighborship will be formed, each devices, third task. Update will be exchange each devices fourth number task. If you want to manipulate your path, you need to go to any router and manipulate. So that means management via centralized device is possible. No. Update will be possible. No. So in this case, each device maintain those planes. Basically, why we use control plane? Basically, control plane work is whenever devices exchange which messages dear updates mm -hmm. updates or you can say protocol information then perform which one task control plane control plan yes whenever device exchange protocol information which type protocol if someone asking stp dtp vtp clear or you can say mm -hmm. CDP, or you can say uh, RIP protocol, you can say EIGRP, you can say OSPF, you can say BGP. So this type protocol or multiple protocols, whenever exchange information via messages. So we are mm -hmm. using which one plane here? Control plane. Now, what is the meaning of data plane then, Visa? Data plane means whenever device forward receive traffic traffic means actual data yes or no yeah whenever yes. i am doing whenever i am sending some files so we are using data plane what is the meaning of management plane whenever network engineer do uh, via cli via gui or physically or remotely manage or do configuration, then use. Clear? Mm -hmm. so right now, last my traditional routing, if I want to configure any, any feature, any protocol, so we just need to log in with my laptop and access my router. Access my firewall, access my access point, access my switches. So basically, every device manage 
separately management plane yes or no so router one yes. separately manage management plane firewall also management plane this one is also management point this one is also management plane if devices exchange information that means router one exchange information control plane is separate firewall also separate access point is separate switch is also separate if router forward traffic if firewall forward and receive traffic that means data plane is also data plane is also separately managed so if you having separate planes that condition we are getting issues which issues for example in your lens site if you are having 1000 users how many users we saw 1000 users so this switch required more cpu more ram this switch is also more cpu more ram firewall also router also yes or no so you just need yes. to require hardware requirement is more than normal organization yes or no so in this case you attach in your networks high end series router firewall switches access point yes or no yes now one more thing basically in my sdn sdn we are getting some software defined network yes or no in my yes. software defined network we manage we manage traditional networking via software define network how to manage basically sdn will provide three solution which one dear mm -hmm. first solution name is for data center for data center we are using some uh, apic controller which one dear we are using some apic, APIC controller controller okay for len len means local area network mm -hmm. we are using some sd access we are using some sd sd access sd access. <laughs> access we are using in sd access we are using dna controller which one dear mm -hmm. DNA? dna controller third solution for which one when if you want to manage when devices so we are using SD 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 when we are also getting controller. We are getting some controller. Which controller, controller. we are? We are getting V Smart, V Manager, V Bond. Clear? Now, hmm. basically, this SD when solution provided by different vendors. Clear? Via Cisco, via Webtela via versa also clear but which solution we are following web tela so v web means web tela solution controllers there is which versa is also good yeah versa is also available okay one more thing you need to remember basically same traditional network this one i think you remember visa this yes. traditional we are using the last time now basically in my organization in my organization i am attached some controllers i am attaching some controllers which controllers for example my first controller deploy which one its name v manager clear mm -hmm. then we deploy one more controller its name V smart. v smart then we deploy which one controller now v bond v bond clear and this controller you can de you can deploy on physical device or you can deploy on cloud premise also clear depends on your for example mm -hmm. this controller available on my aws clear and this aws attached with isp and you can access clear connected with routers firewalls also now now or you can directly connect with your domain also clear direct connect with your 
domain also this mm -hmm. controller okay so i am using this controllers connected with my switch for example now what will happen if we are using this type of design a oh, very easy very easy for example if you want to upgrade if you want to upgrade which one thing ios which devices router firewalls switches clear if you want to upgrade so how to upgrade you need to go to each and every device in traditional but why we we are using now we are using sd1 scenario SD one. sdn solution which one sdn so yes. in this case you need to log in with your v manager log in your v manager and from this device this controller you can upgrade your each devices within a single single command clear okay now one more thing you can do for example a router one want to receive or want to exchange any network information for example why network with firewall with router to with switches this why network information i want to propagate we are using which protocol right now in my internal domain bgp if i am using for example ospf router one two firewall switches also enable which protocol ospf so i want to exchange network information so in this case we are using which controller dear v smart v last time router one exchange this information with each devices yes or no firewall yeah. will exchange with each devices but 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 now 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 if you are using sdn solution so router only only forward this information on which side v smart side and now v smart forward this information which side firewall switches router to firewall to and all switches clear so network information you can propagate via single device no need to go to each and every device that condition means router one required to form neighborship with router two or firewalls no basically all information devices will exchange with which device only v smart, v -smart. and v smart so will propose that means yes. we we are not going to use any uh, routing protocol like ospf egrp or etc eigrp not supported by sdn only oh. os ah, okay EIGRP. rest of the same protocol you can see now why we use v bond that condition if someone asking this am why we use v bond person for example last time you just need to connect your branches yes or no mm -hmm. but how yes. to verify how to verify this router and this router is authenticate router sometimes this pc can be possible to convert as a router we can use some tools an attacker can possible to convert this pc as a router so how to mm -hmm. verify this thing so v bond is available v bond is available you just need to connect your branch and this routers can be verified by which person which person e bonds this switches also can verify by v bonds v -bond. this firewall also possible to verify by v bond v -bond. this router also possible to verify by v bond so all authentication verification go through v bond v bond that's very good now one more thing one, one more question thing. before we go through that yes v v manage v smart v bond it came one device or separate uh, again 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 ask ah, v manage v smart v bond came with one device or separate or uh, separate 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 okay yeah, and because possibility uh, install it on physical and vmware right yes basically do you want to install this controllers so you have option two option you can deploy on your cloud premises okay mm -hmm. you can deploy on your vmware also you can deploy on your hyper v also <coughs> yeah. you can deploy on kvm also but if you want to use physical you just need to purchase which one ucs box mm -hmm. if you have let, any idea about ucs no oh that's later we need to talk of oh, now if you would like to 
USS and VM. What's different also between VMware, Hyper-V, and KVM? And it's a virtualization machines. Virtualization. All of them? Virtualization machine. If you are using VMware, so same yeah. as it. Yeah, I, I, I already used yeah. that. Yes. If you're having VMware, so all are same, but we are getting some advanced features. Okay. If you want to change, if you want to upgrade your adapters, if you want to increase your uh, adapter speeds, do you want to increase your RAMs? So you can use. Okay. All are same. All are same, but provided by different VMware. vendors. Ah, provided by okay. different vendors. That is the reason. Mm -hmm. Cloud also we are getting now different vendors. AWS. Yes. Azure. Yes or no? Or Cisco also yes. providing cloud. Yes or no? Yeah, or you can yeah, also use private cloud. So basically, we are getting any difference? No, all are same. But yeah, yeah, resources yeah. we can get, na? and vendor are different. So same as it is, VMware, Hyper-V, KVM also same, but different vendors, different solutions. Clear? Now, one more thing you need to remember about uh, SD-WAN solution. Clear? Now, in SD WAN solution, brother, in SD WAN solution, we are using some controllers, clear enough? And we are using some which one devices? With some WAN Control. age device. We are one. using con controller plus which one devices? We are using WAN age devices. Okay. One each, ah, one, and, one, one age devices? Yes, one age. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, right now, what is the meaning of one age devices? Mm -hmm. Basically, controllers, controllers can be managed. Control plane, clear? And management plane, clear? And authentication task, clear? Na? So this task can be managed by control plane, but, but, but. One plane is missing. So this vanish device will be managed. Which one? Data plane. Oh, okay, okay, yes. <clears throat> yeah. Now, this authentication plane, basically, its name is orchestration plane. Which one? Orchestration, orchestration. plane. Okay. So in networking, we are calling orchestration. So how many planes managed by controller? Control plane, management plane, and orchestration plane. Orchestration and when plane. devices will manage? Data, data plane. plane. Okay, if someone asking, sir, which type of managed devices we are using? Same as it is, brother, routers. But this router support iOS XE. The operating system is iOS XE. <clears throat> That means, what mean X? Yeah, X means SDN solution supported. SDN means software defined network solution. If you want to, oh, XE, yes, go ahead. Yeah. Software defined network solution supported iOS. Clear now. Which type of router we are using? We can possible to use WebTela routers. Okay, we can use WebTela routers. That means WebTela managed devices. We can use normal router Cisco. No, we can use ASR. We can use ISR. We can use CSR also. Clear? So basically, this one is advanced series. Clear? You can say high end or data centers series we are using. Normal mm -hmm. router, if you're having 181841, 2800, 2900, this type. This type devices can be support in SDN? No. Okay. Never support. Only this one series. Clear? Cisco. No. Which series? Cisco. ASR, ISR, or CSR. Ah, okay. Uh, actually, could you later also, just if you if you have a time and you can, just I need to know about the iOS support EX. I mean, which iOS kind of IO, support was? right now, but right now, iOS means Inter Networking Operating System. Okay. Yeah, I know that. XC I mean, the, the version. Yeah, this one what I'm talking about. XC means it's an actual SDN solution. Which one? SDN solution. Ah, okay. SDN solution operating system. 
clear okay now clear one more thing you need to remember about sd and sd value mm -hmm. you can say right now right now one more thing we need to discuss basically <coughs> for sd when clear for sd when we need to discuss about some advanced topic which one advanced topic this SD WAN also required some Windows servers. Okay, we can use Windows server. We can use some CA server also. Clear? Both are same, but dependent on your organization. How to authenticate your devices? Clear? Mm -hmm. So this one is your certificate server. Which one, dear? Certificate server. So we discuss how to create. Okay. Now, okay. one more thing. Go to up. Go to next side. Now. Now, one more point we need to discuss about with some SD SD van. After traditional uh, networking, we are getting some SDN solution, and SDN solution is better to perform because we can manage by whole domain devices via single device. Yes or no? Now, mm -hmm. whenever we discuss about vManager, whenever we discuss about the vSmart, whenever we discuss about the vBond, so I think we discuss vManager managed by? Controller. Plan. vSmart. Uh, data v plan. vManager will manage. Management plane. We smart manage control plane. Control plane. We bond manage orchestra. That means the authentication and yeah, orchestration yes. plan. Yes, and where where we manage data plane? So manage devices. Which one do you? One device. One devices. H. Manage devices. So this manage devices manage. The data. data plane. Yeah. Now, one more thing you need to remember. Uh, I think you need to uh, verify. Give me one second to show me the picture. Okay. <coughs> so, plus you. Uh, D drive. Uh, in Visam, in your organization, which type of devices you are using a router? Which series router you are using right now? Well, here they, we are using Juniper. Actually, uh, Juniper firewall, uh, firewall as a route and router, but we use uh, Catalyst switch, uh, 930, 9300, okay. sorry, and 9200. And uh, uh, are you done? CCNA? Are you done? Yep. CCNA, CCNP? Yes, 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 I already have it. Okay, so I will, what, what, yeah, when we finish that, maybe I will go with you also to finish my CCNP. Okay, now, 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 verify with some. This one is my, this one is my Cisco 7200. Which one do you have? Okay, 7200 Cisco. Series a router. Why we use this series router? Basically, if you're having more than 5,000 user traffic, if you are receiving 1,000 networks, clear? So we are, we are using this one router. Basically, first thing, Visam, I need to just verify. For example, this one is router, and this router manage multiple plays. I think you remember control, mm -hmm. data, data manage management and service also, na mm -hmm. service plane also, control plane, data management service. How it work? For example, this side one user connected, clear, and this user connected with switch, and switch connected with this interface. Okay, now. And for example, this side multiple routers connected. Which one here? Multiple routers connected. Now, basically, whenever this user forward any traffic, so this router will be received. Clear? And now, mm -hmm. now one more. Whenever this router share X network or Y network information on this router, so this router will be received again. Yes or no? Now. Yes. Basically, whenever router receive each information, so router will check some 
tables. And router will maintain first which one table? Routing. Routing table. I think you remember. But, yes. but before routing table, this router also maintain RIB table. And which one table, dear? FIB table. FIB table. Okay. Now, RIB means routing information base table. FIB means forwarding information base table. Clear? Now, mm -hmm. whenever users send the traffic, so users send, users send some packets. Users mm -hmm. send some packets. packets. Whenever routers, whenever routers send updates, so this one is also packets. packets. Now, now, Okay, right now this one is sent rooted packet and this one is sending rooted packet also. Which packet? A routing okay. packet. Okay, what is the difference? Rooted packet means we are getting source IP, we are getting destination, destination IP on layer 3, only this information. Mm -hmm. And routing means we are sending source IP, we are sending destination IP on layer three, but again, we attach which one information network, which network X mm -hmm. network. So in this case, in this case, whenever we are receiving the rooted packet, so device will check which one table first F5B. FIB Forwarding. means I want to jump from one user to another side. So FIB table check for forwarding decision your data traffic will be passed another side. But whenever we are receiving which one packet? Routing. Routing packet. Routing. Then device will store first RIB table. And RIB mm -hmm. table check all information. Then same information copy into which table? FIB. FIB. And attach after copy, attach which interface? outgoing interface clear mm -hmm. now and after information add both table then we maintain which table routing routing, routing. Okay. now 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 one more packet also manage one more packet also available for example if this user say i want to take a backup this box how to take backup so basically this user login login with your router Mm -hmm. and do some command task and get backup. In this condition, this user sending the which one packet? Which packet? Management packets. Mm -hmm. So how many types of packet available? Routed, routing, and dear? Managed type. Managed packets. Manage. Clear? Any doubt? Yes, sir. Sorry? Any doubt? No, 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 it's okay. Okay, brother, just go through this video because we we cover all the theories, clear? And tomorrow we discuss some another topic, okay?